Hello, I'm James and welcome to the channel. Today I'm so excited to tell you about the new improved Holy Stone HS210F. So my very first video ever was on the Holy Stone HS210 because I love the way this thing flew. It flies fantastic. I don't I think it's better than anything on the market on the way it flies, but it didn't have modular batteries. So it's really hard to slide the battery in there and hook those little wires up and where you plug it in kept breaking on me, but it flew better than any micro mini drone out there. And you're probably thinking, why is he so excited about a toy drone? Well, when I look at this, I don't see a toy drone. I see an essential, effective, technically advanced, uncrewed aircraft training apparatus. <laughs> And what does that mean? Well, most people, they go out and they buy, they spend thousands of dollars on a drone and they come home with something like this because they don't understand the orientation of a drone. And this drone costs less than 1% of what this drone does. So why would you go out and spend $3,000 on a drone when you can buy one at this price point on Amazon right now, but for a few more months, there's a $15 discount, which brings it down to around $25. And this one's got the modular battery, so you don't have to hook the little wires in it. It just slides right in. But even better than that, the old HS210, even though it's got blue props in the front and black ones in the back, once it's level, it's kind of hard to learn the orientation of what's forward and backwards until you're, until you're pitched forward. Where this one has a completely new design. It's kind of like a praying mantis. The front's higher than the back. So as you're flying around, you learn the orientation so much faster. And why is it important to learn the orientation? Both of these drones sit on four axes. So they pitch forward and back, they go up and down, they yaw left and right, and they roll left and right. And when you turn it around, all that's backwards. And that can seem very confusing. And so the very first time you put this drone in the air, if you don't know the orientation, you're tense, uh, you're worried that you're gonna crash it. But if you fly this one and you learn the orientation, you can think about other things. You can think about your surroundings and, your, and all the other aspects of flying a drone. It's kind of like when you first start learning to drive your car, you're thinking about how much you're turning the wheel, how hard you're pressing on the gas and the brake and the turn signals. And But now when you drive to work, you're aware of what you're doing, but your subconscious completely drives you there. Well, until you can fly this drone and let your dogs chase it all around the house, you shouldn't be flying a more expensive drone. It's kind of like if you went out and spent $300,000 on a race car, but you'd never been in a race car in your life. Would you go out to the racetrack and race it? If you could buy another one that was less than 1% and learn the racecraft. But the problem with that is you need a racetrack, right? Well, you can learn to fly this drone in your own home, or you can, if it's not windy outside, you can take it out and learn how to fly it outside. So if you're young, you're gonna learn it in less than an hour. If you're no guy like me, it's gonna take you a couple hours. But before you know it, you're gonna be flying this drone around your house and you're not gonna to have to think about the orientation of the controls. And then you're ready to take on a more expensive aircraft. So let me show you how great this thing flies and why I'm so excited. And then I'll come back and I'll sit down and show you how the remote works and a few things about it. And then we'll come back for our final review. So let's go put her up in the air. So I'm mainly gonna fly it indoors, but I did want to show you, you can fly it outdoors. If there's a little bit of wind, it actually helps you learn how to fight the wind with the drone. It can get your skill set built up even sooner. Uh, it's funny how when I bring these drones out, how excited all the guys get because they want to fly the toy drone instead of flying their expensive drones. Uh, holds it, the altitude hold works really, really good. And here's something I had to show them. Your drone can't do this. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, uh -oh, so let's I... take it indoors. So when you go indoors, you got to turn it on. You got to bind it up and down. Then you hold down on the right button, and that sets the gyro. So then you just take off button. I'll go over that when I sit down and go over all the functions of the drone. And this is how loud it is indoors. Not bad. A lot better than the other 210. I don't know if it's the angle of attack on the props or what's going different, but it, it's definitely not too loud to fly indoors. And <laughs> there's the flip. And also has three speeds. So it's in speed one. There's speed two. There's speed three, and that's the fastest. I like how slow speed one is. A lot of them, speed one is way too fast, uh, but you can put it in speed one and really learn the orientation of it, or you can go to speed three and fly it around. But the fact that that front of the drone is tilted up like a praying mantis really helps you to learn the orientation of it because you know what the front is at all times. Also, it seems to drift a lot better. So when it's taking a corner, it doesn't do it really sharp. And there I crash it into something, but the altitude hold kind of puts it right back up to three foot. It's not going to recover every time, but if you do crash it, you just go pick it back up and put it in the air. The props are covered. You could damage them possibly, but really the only time I ever damaged them is when my dog caught it midair <laughs> and bit into it. But as you can see, the altitude hold works really well. It just holds position. That's me not putting any input from the controllers. And then there's the flip, the flip button's on the button on the right. 
and then it's got the three speeds on the left. And it doesn't do the spins or, or the circles like some of the other drones, but it's really quick, performs very well. There's no lag in the controls. What that means is sometimes when you give it input, a drone will kind of respond very slowly. This one's immediate. Uh, there's a light in the back, and you can turn a light on in the front. I have them turned off because, I mean, usually you want the lights on in the front and back so you can see what's the front and back, but the way this is built, it's pretty easy to see what's the front and back of the drone. And one thing I say a lot, too, is to try to have an agenda. So once you learn the orientation of a drone and you can fly it around, if you're just doing it aimlessly, it'll start getting boring. So challenge yourself. Set up obstacle courses, have it fly around you, go under furniture, or one of the favorite things I like to do is have my dog chase it around. So if you're chasing your dogs or they're, they're chasing it, all of a sudden you realize you don't have to think about the controls anymore. And that's the whole most important thing to do with this drone is learn how to fly a drone, uh, not just aimlessly flying it around like it's a toy. And it also flies around on the ground, kind of like a car here. I mean, it doesn't have wheels on it or a steering wheel, but if you can't fly it in the air first, you can practice on the ground. I've never seen a toy drone that can do that. I've seen some of them with wheels and props, but this one flies pretty good with props, but when you want to, you can just hit the button and put it back up in the air. One thing too is this comes with a lithium ion battery instead of a LiPo battery like most other budget drones. Here I'm doing a time test just to see how long it'll fly on one battery and it got about six minutes and 33 seconds which is a, up from about uh, five minutes of the old 210. So the only bummer about this drone is it did just come with one battery and it takes 45 minutes to charge it so you only get six and a half minutes of flight time. But soon they will be coming out with different packages that will have more batteries or you'll be able to buy them as an option. But you know six and a half minutes is a long time to be flying a drone in the air. So let's go sit down and go over all the functions of the drone and then we'll come back for our final review. All right, first thing is look at the size difference. The old S10 has a four bladed prop and this one has a three bladed prop and this one is a little bit quieter. This one is always really loud. I probably bought 25 or 30 of these HS210s and given away because I've always thought this was the best flying mini drone ever made, but it doesn't have modular batteries. In other words, you gotta take this little battery and you have to slide it in this little slot and then try to push this little connector in there and it's kind of hard to get in there and that's the weak point of it that it would break uh, i've had several of those break over the years but other than that it flew really really good and this one come with three batteries and the new one only come with one you can buy extra ones on amazon i think they're 13 dollars a piece so this one has modular batteries so modular battery means it's going to slide in and it just it, it's connected so you just pop it in there and pull down and it's connected. Also, this is a Lion battery. This is a LiPo battery. <laughs> so in other words, uh, this is an older technology in the LiPo and this is a, a lithium ion. So this doesn't have any memory. So if you store it full, it'll, it's not gonna really hurt it. Where these, if you stored them with fully charged, it would ruin the battery. Or, or if you stored it at 10% or something like that, it would ruin the battery. Where these lithium ions don't have any memory to them very easy to charge you just plug it in right here and the other one you had to plug this into a little charger so this is much more simple and what's surprising this is a 250 milliwatt amp battery and this is a 300 but the c rating is so different so this one would fly for four to four and a half minutes five if you're pushing it and i got six and a half minutes on this one so the weight on this one was uh right at 25 grams and this one weighs 34 grams so it's not that much heavier even though it's so much bigger it does come with a handy dandy screwdriver to screw the back of the remote and takes three triple a's it comes again with one battery and a charger the light will be red takes about an hour to charge and like i said six and a half minutes of flight time the light will go out when it's fully charged it does come with extra props if you break one they are they are covered props the only way i've ever broke one is my dog caught it and bit it and if you ever do that, it does come with the prop removal tool. Do not pull this off, or you can pull that little wire out of that motor. Can you fix it? Yeah, but it's probably worth more than what the drone is worth. So what you want to do is you want to put that prop removal tool right in that little slot and pry it out and replace it that way. When you get the remote, it comes with this nice cover on it that goes over all the functions of the remote. You turn the remote on right here, and you turn the drone on right here to get it to bind. So if you try to take off right now, it's not gonna take off because it's not bound to it. And that's why it's blinking. So if you go up and down on this side, 
now it's bound because it's not blinking. Your speed switch is up here. You got speeds one, two, and three. That's speed two, speed three. And if you hold down on this for a long time, it, it sets the gyros. So there's a little gyro in there. So you want it on a flat surface. So anytime you wreck it or before you take off, just hold down on this. Now the gyros are set and it'll fly. So whatever seems to be drifting, just try to do that. And if it's not working, then you need to set the trim. So if it's flying and it seems to be drifting to the left or to the right, hold down on this and it'll blink and turn this in opposite direction of what it's doing. It takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get the hang of it. On this side, uh, one press does a 360 flip. Long press puts it into headless mode, which takes away the orientation of the drone. Don't ever do that. The whole purpose of this drone is to learn to fly a drone and have fun with it. If you learn how to fly in headless mode, your subconscious will have a hard time switching back over to fly it correctly. So don't ever use headless mode. This is a fixed speed cruise. I wouldn't even ever learn to do that. That if you, if you hold it, if you press this, it'll keep going at one speed. And then a long, then a longer press turns on and off the light in the front if you want it blinking. Which you really don't need a light on this one because of the way it flies. You know, it's pretty easy to see what's the front and the back. It's always going forward with the top up. And then you got your one takeoff. This takes this is your take off and landing button, but also it's a landing button, but if you hold down on it, that's your emergency stop. So if you're outside and the wind's starting to take it away, just hold down on this one and it'll kill it and it'll fall out of the sky. So let's go back for our final review. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching my review of the new improved Holy Stone HS210F. So if you're even thinking about buying a drone, buy this one first. And if you want one with a camera, they got a great sale on the HS280 until the end of the year. I think here's the price on Amazon right now and it's less than half all the way up until December. So if you're looking for a great Christmas present for your kids and you want to buy them a nice toy, this makes a great toy. But if you have someone in your life that's thinking about wanting to get into drones, then you can get them this essential, effective, uncrewed flying training apparatus. <laughs> so, and they'll love you for it. And I still pull this out every once in a while. If I haven't flown for a while, I kind of forget the orientation of a drone when I go out there. So it's much better to pull out a drone like this and fly it around, especially when it's hot or it's raining outside and I want to give my dog some exercise. I run this around the house and they love chasing it. But be careful, they can reach up and they can bite it. And if you put these in your wife's hair, it's going to tangle her hair up and she's going to be mad. So there is a link below to Amazon. A, that does help support the channel, but it also helps Holy Stone realize how much how many people are watching my videos. And if you did get something out of this video, please like and subscribe. Subscribers mean everything to me in this channel. And I'll see you in the next one.